Uh, thanks for joining today. Uh, my name is Renata. I am one of the key maintainers of Hyperledger Indie Indy for the fourth year now. I'm glad to work on Indy and today I will tell you why. Hyperledger Indy is a digital identity project that represents a whole ecosystem of products ranging from a distributed blockchain ledger to a client libraries for issuing verifiable credentials. Uh, the main idea of this system is a public permission blockchain network that allows you to identify people without sharing too much personal data. Uh, the system allows credentials uh, to be issued to an identity holder. And then the holder can provide a proof of uh, those credentials to a verifier. Uh, the verifier can then trust the holder. So I see that you can hear me. It's wonderful, <laughs> and I can continue. Uh, so uh, this this slide explains uh, some things that uh, distinguish Indie from other distributed ledgers. Uh, custom privacy is uh, Indie's top priority. Uh, it's possible because the ledger doesn't store private user data; uh, instead, it is stored by the holder. To be consensus, in the nodes uh, use the RBFT protocol, which allows quick detection of permissions, uh, sorry, performance uh, degradation at the primary node. Uh, the primary node can then be changed, uh, keeping the system efficient. Uh, each request for getting a transaction uh, contains a state proof, uh, which significantly speeds up read operations, but allowing us to trust as a response uh, from only one node. In addition uh, to the identity transactions, uh, most of the network configuration operations are also saved in the ledger. Uh, Thus, we can change some parameters of the network uh, through consensus of uh, all nodes. And uh, the history of these changes is public and easily tracked. Uh, we develop the system using test driving development. Uh, so the code is well covered with tests, more than 5,000 units and integration tests, more than 10,000 parameterized tests and system tests, which are equivalent to testing a real distributed pool. So the following slide uh, shows how uh, credential, credential, how credentials work. Holders uh, own the permission personal data and they can present to the verifier. There. Thanks to Indus' uh, use of zero knowledge proofs, only a part of the personal data can be provided for verification. At the same time, verifier will not be able to use the information to um, impersonate the holder. The Indy ledger. Uh, can communicate with uh, agents that speak the ARS protocol. Application which are compatible with this protocol uh, can connect and exchange credentials uh, with each other. Agents connect to the ledger to verify keys, but it's not common to write to the ledger. Thus, agent communication is only limited by the speed of the network's read operations which uh, happens really quickly thanks to the use of state proofs. The network is a set of nodes that contains the source site of Indy. Uh, Indy node is uh, repris, uh, responsible uh, this part. Indy node uh, is responsible for the business logic uh, like the definition of identity transactions. Uh, plenum uh, includes the consensus protocol and uh, local data storage that ensure a safe reboot of the nodes, even in um, emergency situation. Uh, let's take a closer look at the products that provide the work of uh, this business logic. Uh, Ursa is responsible for cryptography uh, nodes and client libraries use it to work with BLE signatures, elliptic curve encryption, and other operations. 
plenum and nodes are services that run on the side of the validators. Uh, there are two products uh, currently on the client side. In the SDK, which includes a Rust library for ledger communication uh, interface, interfaces, in fact, for adding a payment system and wrappers in uh, different languages for using the library on the any platform. Uh, RS uh, provides an alternative approach with the individual verifiable uh, data registry to connect to one or more in the node ledger pools. RS Esker provides secure storage and cryptography support and uh, shared trust libraries, uh, V6, uh, provides a high-level credential exchange protocol and frameworks for simplifying the creation of agent application. Um, there are a variety of agents built on the Indie SDK or the ARIS libraries, which allow, the, allow end users to have a convenient and understandable way to work with the whole infrastructure. Uh, so, let's uh, take a look at a set of key features. Um, these key features um, make this project unique, from my point of view. Uh, the authorable transaction uh, dynamically determines the permission for recording transactions and other activities. Uh, rules can require multi-signatures. Auth rules allow changing the network configuration without rebooting the nodes, and all changes are tracked, of course. In addition, uh, plugins can be uh, added to Indie nodes, uh, ex expanding the standard functionality. Uh, the audit ledger keeps track uh, of uh, records of each transaction in each subledger. This ensures consistency, uh, which solved a key issue in the strip in distributed networks. The transaction house agreement uh, is a user agreement required to write to the ledger. This allows customer governments uh, rules for meeting legal requirements. Freshness uh, is an internal ledger mechanism that ensure a network uh, writes, uh, ensure a network uh, with a few right operations, uh, remains consistent and available. Uh, flexible uh, network monitoring allows user with the uh, appropriate role to receive full information about the hardware state and the internal state of the Indie services uh, running on the nodes. In addition, um, in addition, in recent years, we improved the mechanisms for recovering nodes after logging, uh, changing a primary malicious node and communication between nodes. On some questions, we contacted the author of the RBFT protocol to work out uh, more efficient um, and more effective solutions. And in my opinion, we managed to move forward the science of distributed consensus. So in this presentation, I have outlined only the main, main advantages of Indy. In fact, this is an amazing world with a diverse community, and I will be happy to discuss it with everyone after the presentation. Uh, we have community calls. Uh, they are regularly held to synchronize our efforts and uh, develop a single direction of movement. Uh, we will be glad to have a question in the Hyperledger Rocket Chats uh, channel uh, used by the project. Uh, so, thanks for your attention. Mm, I can share my email for your questions and I can read your questions in these chats. We'll be glad to answer for them. Do you have any questions? No, really, guys. Oh, uh, we have a question from uh, uh, Michael, Michael, sorry. Uh, does Indy support BBS plus signature? Uh, no, 
Uh, right now, we don't support BBS plugin signature. And in fact, one of the reasons that um, just maybe one month ago, we had a final uh, specs about BBS Plus. So this uh, India doesn't support BBS Plus signatures. But we think in this direction. <laughs> Thank you for your question. I hope you will uh, have another questions. And uh, I think I can uh, tell something about uh, our next plans in IndieNode, uh, because we have uh, a few minutes more. Uh, now we are working on um, new releases, uh, because uh, we create new interesting features, and uh, we changed uh, our um, release process a bit and want to improve and test it. Do you have any question? Uh, how can we add uh, new validators not to existing network? Uh, now we had um, uh, 25 validator nodes, validator, validator nodes. and um, it's uh, some kind of uh, sovereign government um, idea that we have um, Mm, a few uh, validators, and if we want to add a new one, we need to send a node transaction to add in this node. Uh, so, but uh, firstly, to have these permissions to send this transaction, uh, you need uh, to contact with uh, Sovereign Foundation, and after this, uh, I don't see any problem why uh, you can't uh, join this validators pool. Thanks for your question, because I think it's an interesting question in uh, all uh, PBFT protocols, uh, because uh, the uh, count of nodes are uh, limited. Mm, so, do you have more questions? I have two minutes to tell you something interesting in other, in other topics. Uh, so, um, as I said before, we... Uh, oh, I can't. <laughs> uh, um, sorry if I pronounce it wrong. Uh, Sonic uh, uh, was talking about uh, separating the network and more than an indie functionality. Pongo, <laughs> not a basic uh, Firstly, um, I think Sovereign it's not a basic network, it's uh, another organization. And uh, about ND, uh, adding a new separate ND network, uh, in fact, you just need to uh, start, war, uh, start pool with uh, specific scripts uh, that create a uh, uh, pool uh, through using um, Genesis. Uh, file with uh, Genesis transaction. Uh, it contains uh, if you start net uh, start uh, nodes, and after this, uh, after this, uh, if you want to add a new node, uh, you can uh, send specific uh, specific uh, transaction, node transaction, uh, to add a node and to make it validator. Uh, yes, I think we are out of time. Thanks for your question. Uh, if you have uh, more questions, please uh, send them to me in email or in Rocket Chats and hope to see you in community calls or online. Uh, thanks for your question and for your attention. Thank you.